Hey all, Matt no Matt here, and this is a demo of my module UI extension. So this is a simple little extension that just changes the way the module library and loading works. So let me show you how that works here. So on the left we have the default fantasy grounds, and right we have it with my extension loaded. So normally underneath the library you have the modules window, pulls up the ones that you have loaded, right, and then you can click on one to see the items in it. And if you want to add a new module or unload a module, you need to go to the activation page, and then you can find stuff from there. So I've changed the way this works. So on the right-hand side with my extension, hit the modules, and you get this view. Right, so here you see by default all the loaded modules you have. And like you know, this approach here, if you want to read some of the content from inside of, of there, which I never really do because it's all over here anyways, but if you want to, you still can do it by clicking on it. Gives you a little window. In fact, you can actually close this and keep that as reference, whereas you, know, you can't do that normally. Um, I don't know how often that will really come up, but that's a little change. Um, the big change here is that the layout, right? So here you can only see a couple at a time, and here you can see a lot of them. In fact, you can see up to 100 is the way I will uh, right now. And um, you can switch tabs here to the unloaded to see the unloaded modules as well. So this kind of combines. Uh, the regular module view and the what's the default like activation view into one window. Also, you'll notice a big change here is the way that the modules are laid out, right? So currently, the way the, the normal fantasy ground works is you've got like these columns, um, which is fine. You know, it looks good. It's large. But the problem is that like science shows that it's actually you know, more difficult to scan a list like this than it is a single linear uh, scrollable list. So I you know, use that to my advantage here with this design. And you just have one long list uh, that you can scroll down and see everything here. Right? So it just, it's alphabetized, so one alphabetical order. So I mean, people may have their own preferences, but I personally find it much easier to find stuff uh, with this format on the right. Um, let's see what else is going on here. So here are the main things that I changed the pagination. So something that kind of frustrated me with the default here is that you only have like a few items per page, especially from the, the default node, where we don't have a huge screen to, to share, only like 10 or something, right? So you have like eight pages of stuff to scroll through to like find it. And yes, you can skirt search, which definitely helps, but uh, you know, so I just didn't like that so much. So I changed now to like the, pretty much everyone's gonna see all your modules by default now, because I said, like I said, 100 is now the normal size. So I didn't want to go too crazy, because if you had more than that, you know, it might really hang up fancy grounds. But I think 100 is, is doable. Um, I can also tweak this if you know, needed, but uh, it seems to work pretty well for me. I don't quite have 100, but I've got a decent amount here. Uh, what else can you do here? So, oh yeah, I've also kind of combined so like the buttons to the store and export and builder. You know, those are part of this window. Uh, and now it's all kind of like together in one. Um, I simplified the filtering a little bit. Like, yes, in the old version of the activation, you had like multiple filters on here, a rule set. I never really find myself using this or the shared as well, like, cause you can see that already right here and how often are you sharing stuff that you're not really loading? I mean, you can still do it in here, but I never found it to be that relevant. So it's just kind of simple to load it and unload it. Um, and the other big change that I made is a whole new feature for auto loading extensions. So, Okay, now that we've seen the comparison here, I'm going to close this out. And we focus now on the new feature. So on the right here, we're loaded as a GM. And I'm going to minimize some of this stuff here, some distraction. Uh, what you can do is you can set it up so that whenever any player joins your game, they're automatically going to load the extensions that you want. So let's say we always want people to load, auto load the player's handbook so they don't like ask us how to do it, especially if you have new players who are have to like fumble through the loading stuff, you can really minimize that. Maybe you want them all to have the player's curses draw loaded by default. So I just do that quick change here to this new state of auto loading. Now I'm gonna join as a player and we'll see how that works. Second to load. And this can work in real time too, which I'll show you, show you next. Okay, so this player has joined for the um, theory the first time. I did a quick 
join beforehand just to make sure I can connect, but I didn't load any modules or anything for this player. But now if I open my library, go to modules, you notice, uh, here you go, I have the two that I specified from the GM to auto load, now show up, right? And I can also do this in real time. So if I go to Vendor Master's Guide, now this window has to be closed for the player. So if they close it and then reopen it, you'll see that the DM's guide loaded, which you know that's not the best example of what you would share normally, but and you can see it's slow here because it's loading in the background. That's what's going on. Minor bug I need to fix still at the time of this video is that you notice that I previously had changed both of these to auto, and when I closed the window and reopened it, they didn't have auto. Now, if you close the whole window down, the whole game down, reopen, they would, but I missed that, so I'm just going to get that fixed. In theory, that should still be auto because that's the last state that I had for it. All right, so now I close this window, right? So I had just manually loaded the, or auto loaded the Dungeon Master Guide for all the players by changing the setting. I reopen the window. Now uh, there it is, loaded, right? I can do a quicker example of it. Let's do Book of Liars, or Layers. <laughs> uh, we'll do that. And let's load this up. There it is. And you can even do it with stuff you don't want to load. I mean, I rarely find myself sharing things that I'm not loading myself as a DM, but if you want to, and it also, by the way, the searching mode still works and everything. Um, and you just have one page to search from. Uh, I'm going to do the basic rules. It's, let's say we want to share that automatically. So now again, to go in the player, there it is. The basic rules are there for me when I log in as a player. I don't have to do anything. So that's uh, my module UI. Just some like little tweaks that I found personally to kind of like with the module the display and functionality. So if any others join it, or sorry, any others have similar preferences, maybe you'll enjoy this extension as well. And this works for all rule sets. It doesn't really matter because this is like the core functionality of modules for fantasy grounds, so it should work for anything. And uh, yeah, if you have any feedback or suggestions of other changes I might be able to do or improvements, please let me know. I'm still tinkering with this and might be able to refine it even a little bit more. I hope you enjoy.